Hello, this is Sophie from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can change the uh, look of the user, user interface in uh, Blender. Uh, this is for 2.8. Uh, this is just an add on. It's open source to some extent, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll leave the uh, link of the uh, add on in the description below this video, but let me open up where what it looks like actually. And it's called Theme Switcher, and it's made by Captain Simo. I guess that's how I pronounce that part of his name. And what you can do, just click on "I want this," and it says name a fair price. You can put in five dollars, ten dollars. You can just put in zero. But it's you know somewhat helpful to put in some amount in there. But if you put in zero, just click on "I want this." And it'll take you through these steps to acquire the download. Once you've downloaded it onto your system, a button will come up. Where it says download, so you download it like that. And once you've downloaded it, it's just the basic same steps for installing an add-on in Blender. You just go to Edit, Preferences. And the whole point of this add-on is to help you customize the user interface of Blender. Usually, uh, the user interface is highly customizable when it comes to the color and the look of it but it's just a taxing thing to do because you would have to go to themes if you want to customize it yourself in terms of changing the color you would have to go into themes and then click on all these settings and change all this to your liking uh, 3d view change all the colors and it's just a tedious process but the uh, theme switcher does that automatically for you and I'll show you what I mean once you've downloaded the add-on to your system, you click on add-ons, go to edit, uh, user preferences, add-ons, and then you click on install, you navigate to where you've saved uh, the add-on, navigate to where it's saved on your system, click on that, and then install add-on, click on that button, and it installs it automatically. And once that's been done, it's going to appear on the toolbar section of the user interface and you scroll down here and it says themes this will pop up and I've already installed a theme here called Windows 10 dark blue you click on that and it makes it darker changes the uh, highlighted elements to green the camera to blue it, it has more of like an Adobe a modern Adobe look to it which is what I like you can convert back to it by clicking on blender dark now to install a theme, because there are a lot of themes that are out there, and let me show you what that, um, I'll leave a link of that in the description below the video also, but let me click on what that looks like, and this is where a lot of themes are uh, stored online. I think this is a uh, form where people put up themes that they've made, and you just can just scroll through and look at what you want and what you like. And once you've done, you found the one that you like, just click on the download link. It'll, it'll be a download emblem here. Click on that and install that on your, your system also. For, my, for myself, in terms of organizing it, what I did was I just created a folder called Blender Themes. And once you've done that, I'll show you how you can install it onto your system of, uh, for Blender. And also I can use the theme switcher to switch from theme to theme. Now I've, I've downloaded this one myself, the dark blue, and also the white. So I'll, I'll install the white. Show you how you can install themes on uh, in Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, and you go to Themes, and then you go to Install, and navigate to where you've, you've downloaded the themes. I've done. I've showed you where I've created a folder called Blender Themes, and I'm going to click on that and call and and uh, go to Install Themes, and then there it is automatically it installs this theme and here it will show up but in order for it to show up you just click this refresh uh, icon here and it refreshes it so you can switch from one theme to the next just fairly easily and it's just something you know if you if you're kinda bored with you know the way blender looks so you want to change it to something more to your liking or to your taste the theme switcher is the way to go so yeah, this is just like a fun add-on you can use to change the look and feel of Blender to the way you want it to look. And once again, this is just a Blender quick tip. And this is Tolo Olubumi from Trifold Productions. And I thank you guys who have subscribed. 
and those of you who will subscribe in the future, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.